Hello, good morning. It's Sadil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Friday, the 27th of May 2016. As always, please do visit tradesignal.com and get the latest signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app at the Android App Store and the uh, and the uh, the actual Apple App Store as well. Okay, um, in terms of the markets, let's have a look. And the, um, the Asian markets overnight, you've got the Shanghai week again. Okay, certainly concerns ongoing there with regards to the potential steel tariffs that have been imposed on China. And there certainly seems to be the uh, trade war increasing between America and China and obviously Europe as well. Um, so that certainly is a cause for concern and also commodity weakness as well. And there seems to be an excess supply of commodities from China and a backlog in terms of entry inventories. And that certainly is hurting the uh, commodity outlook as well. Also adding the fact that you're looking at hawkish rhetoric from the Fed, which again is bearish because it increases the value of the dollar. And as we all know, commodities are priced in dollars, so therefore commodities will fall. The Nikkei is certainly more or less flat overnight with talks of potential delay in the tax hike, certainly helping uh, sentiment and uh, the uh, the actual uh, direction of the uh, the market at present. But I think a lot of that has already been factored in with the uh, Nasdaq, or oh, sorry, with the Nasdaq at 4,500 and the S&P now trading almost near 2100 again okay now in terms of uh, data events for today as we all know miss yellen is on tap she uh, certainly will be speaking later on um, from my perspective she certainly will be uh, singing a hawkish tone okay especially given her colleagues have all been certainly hawkish as well uh, consumer confidence from the uh, french economy this morning excuse me French economy this morning certainly um, came in stronger than expected. Retail sales from uh, from Spain certainly came in stronger than expected as well. Business confidence slightly weaker out of Italy, so the data out of Italy and uh, certainly consumer and business confidence weaker. I think we are all waiting for uh, US GDP now. Uh, that certainly seems to be in personal consumption expenditure core, CPI as well, consumer sentiment, and also we have a rig count from Baker Hughes. So that certainly seems to be the focus uh, as well with this morning now. The market, from my perspective, is now um, exhausted, overly exhausted, especially going into Fed, Miss Fed Yellen's speech, you are going to look at uncertainty. The foresee remains weak, given the weak export and import data yesterday, and obviously Brexit concerns as well. Uh, and with regards to Euro USD, it certainly seems to have found some sort of footing uh, and is into potential support on the daily chart, and you are looking at potential breakouts on the north side, which again indicates a potential uh, reversal in European equity. So again, that certainly needs to be focused on as well. Price of oil again looks exhausted as well on the daily chart. Certainly seems to be um, uh, finding weakness. As you can see here, we hit the $50 level. It has been rejected very quickly. And we now are looking to potentially put in a H&S formation. So again, this certainly needs to be watched for a potential top in the uh, price of oil. So watch out for the price of oil looking for further downside on there okay in terms of the uh, the actual uh, indices let's bring up the actual uh, analysis of the indices now the daily chart of the euro stocks i did say yesterday you are looking at it being overstretched uh, this key zone here is always acting as a support zone at the fib 75 percent which is 3090 but you are looking at fib 61 percent resistance at this current juncture 60 minute chart again it certainly seems to be uh, overstretched. You did have resistance at this 3060 zone, and that certainly is expected to hold. If that breaks in the next level, you're looking at a 3110. Very unlikely, given the fact that Euro USD is in support, and like I said, you do have concerns with regards to uh, Japanese yen, certainly strengthening to a large extent, and also anti QE rhetoric for this morning as well. I mean, we had Mr. Merkel stating that the uh, the um, uh, monetary policy certainly has been exhausted to a large extent as well okay in terms of the uh, european indices let's just look at the euro 350 as well whilst we're here euro 350 daily chart approaching that 200 ma again looks very exhausted 60 minute chart at the moment you do have resistance in this zone here which we are almost uh, near so you are looking for weakness there so again from my perspective uh, I, uh, this, the conclusion that is that this market rally certainly is exhausted now and you are looking for a potential move lower that's my interpretation thus far uh, we certainly need a pullback certainly is a long long overdue okay 10 minute chart you can see here on the europe 350 again uh, just uh, holding resistance and no uh, real conviction higher okay now the german dax again you are looking at resistance we did have a hns formation but that certainly seems to have uh, 
have uh, disappeared for now again horizontal resistance it is holding and that remains a key 60 minute chart on the German DAX yes we, I am aware of this potential uh, 10 320 gap fill from my perspective you do have an unfilled gap below and that certainly will be the uh, the actual uh, magnet to force price action lower so multiple unfilled gaps below looking for weakness in terms of the French CAC volatility index like I said and the French CAC volatility just like the VIX in the US certainly is into uh, support uh, again with regards to euro stocks into support uh, the French CAC on a daily chart is into its 200 MA resistance so looking for a reversal Fib 61% resistance as well yes you do have an unfilled gap at 4560 but from my perspective very unlikely to be hit 10 minute chart again you've certainly gone into gap fill resistance that will be a resistance zone for now and then we are looking for potential gaps lower to close okay so from my perspective like i said again exhaustion with regards to the FTSE yesterday's data was was weak from the FTSE 100 so therefore you are looking at weakness there weekly chart as well remains weak the daily chart on the uh, FTSE has a HNS formation we are into that fib 61 percent we put in a doji yesterday on the back of weaker uh, rbc yeah uh, data and also given the fact that oil has rejected fifty dollars that certainly remains buried for the FTSE as well we're putting in a lower high here at fib 75 percent so on the 60 minute chart and 10 minute chart at the moment you do have this mini hns formation again looking for a potential move lower that's my understanding at present okay so again you have the unfilled gap at 6 to 20 that will need to be targeted from my perspective Okay, I think that's a market wrap. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that 25% new account trading offer. Goodbye.